What's going on, man? Welcome to another episode of We Full Time, where we take our music passion and we turn it into what? A full-time career. And if you know the motto, then let's put in some work. So in this video right here, I'm going to show you how to turn a song that you created in song mode, convert it to a sequence, then track out your beat. That way that you can send it out to engineers, rappers, or whoever needs to track out to mix it. All right, let's get to it. So in order to make a song, what do you have to do? You got to have different sequences in, in song mode. So as you see here, I got the hook, I got the verse break, intro, break, verse, and then track six is unused. Now I group those sequences together in song mode, which in turn makes a full song. All right, now this is where you would either save the entire song itself if you just wanted to send out a, a WAV file or MP3 file and just be done with it, you can do that. But in this video, we're trying to get the track outs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna convert it to a sequence. So I'm gonna click convert. That sequence is gonna be on sequence number six. I'm gonna include muted tracks now I'm going to click do it. So let's go to sequence number six. Sequence number six is right here. These are all the tracks that are underneath it. If I go to grid view and I zoom out, you see everything. What's muted, what's been taken out, etc. So that's the full song right there. But let's focus on the drum track. Now what most people do, they would tell you to go project window, export, click explode tracks. Yes, you can do that, but your drum tracks wouldn't be saved as individual files. So in order for us to save them as individual files, we need to explode them within the track itself. So what I'm gonna do now is click this pencil icon and you see where it says explode right here? I'm gonna click explode. Now, let me show you something. I've just exploded the drums that were in this uh, track. Track five is the kick drum snare, close, open hat, kick drum, etc. Now, we will go back to that project window folder. We will click export. Then we will click explode tracks. As you see, it's already checked. I'm gonna change it to a 24 bit. Make sure my audio tail has a little on there. Then I'm gonna click export. What you wanna do now is create a new folder, whatever your beats call. I'm just gonna call it chart. Now I'm gonna save. Now it's exporting those tracks individually. While it's exporting, I'll be back um, and I'm going to show you that these files are going to be within the folder that you created on the MPC. That way you can get started mixing in the DAW of your choice. Now that that's done, I'm going to show you that these files are saved underneath chart. Now these are all the individual stems. As you see, there's a kick, snare, uh-oh, go up. There we go, first thing to pop up chart. All right, now you see everything you see that was on that drum track was tracked out. Here's the guitar that played. Now you can take these stems, put them on a SD card or transfer them over via the USB 3 cable, drag them into your favorite DAW and mix how you wanna mix. I mean, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this video was helpful and insightful. I hope now that you see in order for you to track out your drums, you need to explode them within the track itself. Uh, and that way you can send them off to your mixing engineer or mix them in your DAW of your choice. But like I say, man, we full-time, baby. We big-timers. We full-timers. I'm out. Let's go.